Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder, and this is episode 6 of my Airfix 112th Doctor Who Welcome Aboard Diorama Build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Firstly, let's sort out some prep work for one of the lights, the green one. We're going to test the light, then we're going to get it ready for installation. So, adding extra cable, putting heat shrink on it, making sure it still works. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we have that light ready for fitment. That one is going to be the steady green console light. Next, we need to sort out the holes that go into the main body of the TARDIS. This is where we're going to feed the rest of the wiring room through. So let's crack on with that, shall we? Holes are big enough now to get the wiring loom through. So, let's get this light fitted, shall we? Right, there's a light fitted, now to test it. Yep, it's still working, get in there. Next, the rest of the wiring loom that goes behind the backdrop. That's nearly ready. Next, to set up the pulsing green light that is the heart of the TARDIS. Oh, look at that working. Awesome. Well happy with that. Now to glue it in place. You may not notice it, but I tend to test the circuit after every section. This saves a lot of heartache if you finish and it doesn't work. Finding out where you broke it. Test, test and test. Great, there we have the pulsing light glued in place. This next part has me really, really nervous. I've got to cut into the pulsing circuit to join the pulsing light on top into the circuit. Wish me luck with it. Yes, I know, I boo-booed there. I need to connect the top light after the black little box, not before it. So let's cut into those wires and get this sorted, shall we? Get in! First go and it works. There we have the top light and the TARDIS heart working in harmony. 
Now, let's get the rest of this wiring loom sorted and fitted into place. There we go, that's the wiring loom and the centre console all fitted into place. Next it's time to check out the new speakers and do they fit? So let's test that and see. That seems to fit nicely, so let's strip the wires back and get them extended so they can reach the soundboard in the base. Here we go. So there we have the speaker wired up and screwed into place in the room. Next we need to sort the rest of the wiring out and get it all threaded through and tied it up at the bottom end. So here we go with that. There we go, that's the wiring loom really sorted out. Just need to finish it off once the TARDIS is stuck in place. Next, to remove all the copy deck from the centre console and give it a good old wash. So, let's get this cracked. That's the centre console wash. Next, a quick wash for the steps into the TARDIS, that's about five seconds. Then, straight on to painting the tent top of head. So, here we go with that. There, we've just given his head a right hand flesh wash, which is from Citadel. Now, to do the same to his hands. Next is Sonic Screwdriver. Now 
I am going to do is hands of lace wash. Did anybody notice? Now, you're considering going back to check. Oh, some of you did go back and check, didn't you? Be honest now. There we go, that's the hands done. Next, we're going to start on the base. We're using a deep box frame that we got from Hobby Park. Firstly, we're going to strip it back down and then glue the inner spacer back onto the backing board. Using super glue and making sure you keep the hanger on the outer side. There we have the spacer glued in place. That is not coming off. Next, we're going to give our base a good thick coat of PVA glue. This stops the backboard soaking up all the moisture and or paint then falling apart, which is prone to do. So let's crack on with that, shall we? we have that covered liberally in PVA. That should keep it sealed. We'll pop it to one side to dry. Next we're going to glue his shoelace to his converse and done. Now the PVA has dried we're going to be using ready mix filler to cover the base. We'll give it a good old stir and then slap it all over. So let's crack on with that. There we have the base covered in filler and while it's still wet we're going to cover it in grout to give it a bit of texture. So let's do that. Now we've done that we can clear the area we marked up where the TARDIS is going to sit. Once we've done that we can then spritz the whole area with IPA. Not the drinking kind mind you. Don't drink this stuff it won't do you any good. The reason we're doing that is to break the surface tension of the grout which then allows us to come up and flood the whole area with a thin PVA distilled water mix. So let's crack on with that.
There we have the whole area flooded with a PVA distilled water mix. We can now pop that to one side and leave it to completely dry. Probably 24 to 48 hours. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 6. If you want to see what happens in episode 7, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.